Yo, 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 what's good? It's another episode of the Africa Ascripted podcast and it's been a crazy week. The weather's been crazy, but we've got another crazy pod for you this week. And this week we have got one of the hottest names in the football game in Africa, in Zambia. It's our brother King. Let him come in. Let me get him onto the pod. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, how's it going? Everything is okay, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. How, how's the week been? It's been? I know it's been crazy for you. Yeah, how's the media been? It has been a crazy and fantastic moment in the week for me. I think it's so far one of the best moments I've ever had. Okay, welcome, welcome home. Um, I know it's been a crazy season and um, you know, it's it's for, for you. It's been more crazy because uh, you've been based in Russia. Yeah. Um. Obviously, what's been going on uh, in Russia? Um. How's the experience been for you being back home and you know leaving that place with, with what was going on? Yeah, I think it, uh, it was very difficult to live in Russia, but uh, we thank God we managed and we are good. We are, we are even happy because we came back home at least now we can smile and relax for a bit. How, how obvi- obviously for you, um, Russia is a cold country. How are you finding the weather? Yeah, yeah it's, it's difficult. I'm telling you, it's difficult. But we try by all means to, to protect ourselves and uh, to try to find something that keeps you home. You understand? Yeah. yeah so, so, so yeah, that's good. Um, so I hear people call you kings. I hear people call you clean. I hear people call you mature. What 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 is it? So my 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 full name is Clean Skangwa, then Machuan Ah okay okay. Yeah. How how long have people been calling you that? For? Uh, I, I, I didn't say ten years. I think ten years now. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Seeing as it's been a crazy week for you, I'm sure with all this attention, uh, we're going to get to it uh, in a moment. Um, I think it's good if people get to know a bit more about you, like your hobbies, what music you listen to, are you into movies? Uh, could you just enlighten us over that? Yeah, uh, first of all, I'll talk about uh, the movies. I like to watch Blacklist, yeah, Netflix. Okay. Uh, it's my favorite movie so far. And uh, also coming to music. Yeah, I've been listening to one or two music it's from you guys and the other musicians. Also, I do like to listen to Nigerian songs. Also. Okay, so what are you listening to, 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 to right now? Uh, now, like I've been uh, three weeks, I never listen any music because of uh, I've been busy with the uh, and training, uh, training okay. and training uh, and the national team again, so you need to focus. So what what's your preparation like for you as 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 king? What's your preparation before a game? What what like your ritual? What do you do? Yeah, what I do before the game, first of all, I try to focus and uh, to to avoid any negative things just to focus on the game and uh, also you have to be happy, you know, you need to be happy the only thing that you are doing, you need to be happy before you win, you need to, uh, to feel good, you need to be in good mood and uh, also the mind and the body, okay. so that's what I do every time. So on game day, do you also listen to music? We see a lot of uh, yeah. football players listening to music. Do you like Burner Boy? Yeah, of course, Burner Boy, uh, Lema, to uh, Z, okay, and uh, many more guys that uh, is just to make sure you keep. Okay, oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, so for you growing up, um, you know the dream I'm sure was always to play football, mm-hmm. and we thank God that you've done that. And you come from Kasama. Yeah. How how what was the process in terms of coming from that background over there? knowing that you're not in Osaka where there's better opportunity for you to make it uh, and the process for you to get, uh, let's start with maybe to, up to Happy Hearts. Yeah, I, I'm from Kasama but I never lived there for a long time. I, I, I'm just from Kasama but I live in Osaka, you know, when the parents are from there. Then uh, coming back from the background, I think it's, it's always difficult for everyone, you know, especially in football. 
because it's, it's difficult from the background. But we keep, I keep the faith, I keep believing myself, and I keep working hard. And in the end, I am here today. Okay. We thank God. Uh, so, so the process from Happy Heart, you went to Israel. Yeah. Then you had to come back. Yeah. How how was the process uh, mentally? Where were you? Um, because I don't think you stayed in Israel for too long. Then you had to come back. Yes, I okay. stayed in Israel for like one year. Uh -huh. Then I came back to join Bitcoin. Uh, I think it, it it wasn't an easy decision, but for me I think it was okay because I chose me to one art. Okay. In the end, I succeed every step which I took. So I'm grateful for that. Also, thank God for that. And. Uh, from Wapiat, also it was not easy, but that's the journey to remember. Okay. So, from Bilkan, uh, then you moved to, yeah. to Arsenal too. Yes. Like, what was the process in that? Uh, the agency or the agents that you used, what, how did the conversation start and for you to make that decision? Uh, I've been with the same agent since when I was like 14 years. I was playing Wapiat by then. So, like, we are good, we are like brothers now, mm -hmm. so we try to support, we try to talk one language. Yeah. So even the time I came back from Israel, I would say they would say, okay, let's go back home mm -hmm. and look for a team. We play, let's say, one year or two years, let's set a target, we play one season, then from there, definitely the opportunity to come, to go outside. And, and of course your brother. Some yeah. people don't know that you've got another brother, yeah. who's also a, a, an international. Uh, and you found him there. At, yes, um, at the Arsenal Club. Yeah. So how was it playing the same team as your brother? I think it was uh, fantastic and uh, really good to go because it feels good. You are presenting the, the name, also the family, and also the same room. Are you better than your brother? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you guys ever, ever scored in the same game? Can you recall? Uh, no, but only like to assist. For example, okay. Isco from my past. From your past. Yes. Okay. And um, so, what's the how's the how's the experience been for you in Russia? Because I've been to Russia. Yeah. Uh, I faced some 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 racial discrimination. So you who who's lived there? How was it? Especially like in the tough times, the team's not doing well, or just when you're walking around, have you ever faced any any challenges? Yeah. I'll say that I think it's not easy to deal with the emotions in mm -hmm. difficult times. Not just as a football player, but even in life or whatever you are doing. It's mm hard -hmm. to deal with the, yeah, the emotions in difficult times. Yeah, we, well, you know, when the team is not doing good, obviously the supporters, the fans, yeah. they are talking, you know. And also it's difficult. You don't feel yourself because you are not winning, you are not doing good. But football, you have to continue. You have to to keep working at and to try to change the situation always when things are not going well. So me, I was trying to mind at least to, to stay home, but not always. Of course, I'm then you can go out, and in the end, it's football, you know. Yeah. So just life continues. So life continues, and now that chapter's closed. Yeah. We're moving to. For those that, for those people that don't know, African Scripted podcast. Yeah. Um, so Kings is moving, or Harada has moved yeah. from Arsenal Tula to to Serbia to Red Star yeah. Belgrade. Yeah. So what was the process like there? Did you know during the season, or was it? Because unfortunately the team got relegated yeah. this past season, uh, which is strange as well. Because you guys were doing quite well against the bigger sides. Yeah. You find you're leading. You know the you had some, for lack of a better phrase, some shock results. Um, so what was the process like to, to move and when did that, that begin? I think for me my target to was uh, okay, let me play good, let me work hard and in the end I set the target to say I want to play good, I want by the end of the season to have good options, I think I don't deserve to play for this team. Uh, and also I needed a good new challenge, so yep. that's why I, I set it a new Target. to say in the hand I want to move so if you want to move in the hand you have to perform you have to work hard and so like after then I wasn't surprised I wasn't surprised you know it football straight 
you yeah. can tell that okay this guy deserve a new challenge or, okay this guy is going to move and I came to you in the end like in the last three games I knew that I moved it was happening okay. okay were there any other clubs interested that of course yeah the it options was, it was very difficult there are a lot of options give us some tickets uh, uh, for example touch is locomotive Moscow okay huge team in Russia I'm sure you know yes yes Rangers Scotland uh, Glasgow Rangers fashion team yeah also Fenerbahce Turkey Galatasaray nice. Turkey uh, Lenders in Denmark yes yes also the team of Edward uh, Nijan like this yes yes so yeah, I have a lot of options. Oh, ah, Michelin. Oh, because they, Michelin. they moved from, from yeah, Sweden, yeah, huh? Moved, yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Um, so what, when, so you, you, you told us about um, five or six clubs. Yeah. So when the offer is coming, what do you look at? Do you like, do you look at the game time? Do you look at the money? Do you look like at where I'm going to get more visibility? What, what made you decide to For do? For me, I think I, 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 after I, I saw all the offers, mm -hmm. I need to sit down. I sit down with uh, my agent and my family. We need to agree on one thing. We need to do what is right, which is going. We need to sit and say which one is going to help us. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I moved to Serbia is because they are champions. Mm -hmm. It's a good team. Uh, they are playing Champions League yeah. almost every year. They have opportunity. If they don't do good in the league, they will be second. So I knew to say I am going to have like game time and they have a good opportunity to show myself. Okay. So obviously, I mean you are you are 20, 23 now. Yes. So obviously you're moving to your second club in, in, in your okay, third club in Europe. Yeah. Um and every player has got the end game where they want to end up. Yeah. When you were growing up, was there a club that you've admired? Of course, every club, every player has that. Yeah. I think I, when I was young, I've been, I've been always saying I want to play for Port Spurs in England. Okay. For Tottenham? Yes. For Tottenham? Yes. Out of all clubs? Yes. What makes you want to play for Tottenham one day? Play for football. They play. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, been, it's good. Yeah, it's good. And also, it's a club whereby the pressure is not that much ah. but it's okay so it's a good step for yourself to go and sh it's a good step for you to go and show yourself so, uh -huh. then from there you can move to they say united Barca, new madrid from there to the actual uh, conversation of the game uh just a quick one how how is it for you to keep playing football at the end of the season is your body tired you want to relax and but you have to represent your country of course, it's like when the season is done, obviously everyone will start the mind, especially yeah. the mind, not the legs. The mm -hmm. mind, because you want to go and see the family, you want to go and see your friends. But when the national team comes, you have yes. to, to tame the mind. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's easy for a professional footballer to change the situation, to tame the mind. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, you are done, but you are still needed it's just to switch on the mind and we go again. Okay, fantastic. Um, so, so you came on in the game. Um, you got fouled on the edge of the box, yeah. out of the 18. What was going through your mind? It's a free kick. It's in your territory. Everyone wants to be the savior. Everyone wants to be the you know to take the glory for the country. It's towards the end of the game. The, the, the stadium is. You can you can hear the drop of a needle. Everyone's holding their breath, and it's that moment. Hero or villain? What was going through your mind? Uh, for me, like, I trust myself. So mm -hmm. I trust myself. After I won the foul, it's the way I was up and say, give me the ball. I don't care who say I'll shoot. You want to shoot, you do it. But I said, just give me the ball, shoot. Because I know that in this position, this is your turn. Who, who came? Who wanted? Who was saying? Obviously, let me take. Was on my part. Uh -huh. so wanted to shoot. Also, Enoch came to say, let me shoot. But I said, no. This is my position. So Enoch is the captain. Yeah. It's towards the end of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's make or break. Uh, we lost our opening game in the group. How how do you tell the captain no? How do you say skipper with you know all due respect? 
trust me, what's the process like? Yeah, uh, for me, yes, he's a captain, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's obvious. It's not just God is a captain to command everything. Yeah. No. But also we have the weight. We can say, okay, I'll do this. Okay. It's a captain of the team, and also after I said I'll take this one, also he said, okay, fine. This is a team weight, you know. Fantastic. It's good. Even he understand after I said, let me take both of them. They said, I told them no. This one I'll take. Okay. So obviously the moment in the process. What what were you what were you seeing? You, the wall was set. Yeah. The keeper was more to the to the left of the of the goal side, and obviously the wall is more to the right. Mm -hmm. And you managed just to lift just over and to his far to his far left. Yeah. What's the process in terms of technique? There's all this pressure in the stadium, yeah. and you're there. You fended off Enoch. You fended off Kelvin, and just like this is my moment. In life, you need to take risk. First yes. of all, you need to take risk. If you don't take risk, you never succeed. So is why I taken the risk in this game. Yeah. I knew I even said if I miss I miss. Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen. If I score everyone will be happy. Of course I knew if I miss everyone will be say ah what what what. But it, like I said you need to take risk. So was was that the best goal you you scored in the moment? Is it the, the most important goal? I think yes, the most important no. I have some nice important goals actually, but even this one is one of them. For the country, of course. For the country, of course, yes. How was the atmosphere in the dressing room? Like, what, what was it? Were people holding you, grabbing you, throwing you? Unbelievable. <laughs> huh? Oh, wow. It must have been... Uh... Yeah. What did, what, did, what did the coach coach say to you guys after the game? I think everyone was right. Okay. Because we really needed this point. We really needed this win yeah. to, to get back to the track. You know? And and of course Lesotho managed to hold uh, Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to a goal as well in in Maseru. So I'm sure we're all watching that, and you know, it's after two games, it's, it's not bad to, to be where we are. I think we're in a good position. It's not bad, so it's even good. The um, uh, uh, Lesotho they drew with Ivory Coast, so now we, we also have chance to finish the first on the uh, on the group. So. It's just up to us now to wake up. What what is it? Is it top two that top two is top two? Okay, so that's that's fantastic. Yeah. And um and yeah, you 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 mentioned about uh, selling you know that that was your moment. Yeah. How how is he? He's 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 the new captain. He's been captain for what? I think almost a year. Yeah. How is he as a, as a leader in the dressing room? How does he work with players? Especially seeing he's also a young captain, so he's like your peer. Yeah. I think so far is okay, but we still need to, to improve. Still, uh, still have a long way to go, but so far it's doing fine. Yeah. So how is your personal relationship with, with him? Good. We are good. Obviously, because we are playing the same position, and we we always together in the midfield. So we need that communication and that condition, you know? yeah, that connection and that movement together. Who 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 is uh? I'm interested to know who is the who's the clown in the squad? Who's the person who's always joking? The one, <laughs> always making everyone yeah, laugh. Even me also, I think. <laughs> and you as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who's the who's the DJ? Who's the who's the team DJ? Who plays the music? Edward. 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 Okay. Alright. And speaking of Edward, you guys I was telling someone that you guys always score screamers, golazos, crazy goals for your clubs. But when it comes to the national side, it's yeah. like everyone is, what, what's going on? So I was so happy when you scored. Yeah, maybe, you know, I think sometimes it's the, the situation. Yeah. It's the situation, you know. You can't say we don't want to score, mm. we want, but yeah. maybe it's not coming, you know. And also because of the, maybe I'm sure the weather is different. Yeah. And the, the people also in the expectation, what? Obvious nation to when you are you are a national team the expectation are too high. For me I think it, which is okay for football. Okay, that's good. Um again African scripted podcast, Kings is in the building, uh scored the winner against the Comor Islands. Um country was happy, everyone was happy. It's been a great week for Zambia football. Uh off season, transfer windows just opened, so you've officially joined uh Resta Belgrade. Um, when when do you expect to, to go into for pre season? Fifteen June next in the next three days. Oh no, that's soon. That's ah, soon. okay. All right. So, is there anyone that you have ever played with that's there, or everyone's going to be new? No, no, they are all new. Ah, okay. So, are you excited? Are you looking forward to it? 
of course very excited looking forward to to meet, to meet with the team and mm -hmm. start working together and look we to have a fantastic journey so do you guys go directly into the champions league or do you have to go through the this playoffs? season they are starting playoffs uh -huh. but next season they go direct yeah and the playoffs if i'm not mistaken it's in almost two weeks or so. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are in the first round, but we'll go into the second round. I, I don't know, but I need to check. Yeah, okay. All right. So, thank you for coming through. Um, before you go, I uh, just wanted to, to ask you one more question for, you know, for the youngsters yeah. coming up, upcoming youngsters in football. You know, there's a very crazy statistic. Yeah. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. That, um, it's crazy. It's mind-blowing that less it's like less than 1% mm -hmm. of youngsters, academy players, youth players that come through the system make it. So you can understand that 99% of football players never go pro, like to the highest level. Mm -hmm. So you are in that less than 1%. So any advice for a young person coming up, you know, especially, you know how our conditions are here in, in Zambia, it's not that easy compared to Europe where you've got the facilities, yeah. You've got the stadiums, you've got the coaching, you've got the, the nutrition and the dieting. What would you tell a young person, uh, if you just look at a young person who's coming up? I think uh, first of all, in life, in your football life, it's to wake up, it's to believe in yourself and to, to enjoy what you are doing. So I think my advice now, uh, it's easy to go professional footballer like it was before. So now just to show yourself, you sacrifice, you pray good, you wake up, then definitely you're going to have a chance. Yeah. Now many people are watching, now we have uh, online games, you know, even if uh, you are playing village, people can see. We have phone, we have everything now, so it's easy for them. The advice is just to continue to learn and believe in themselves. Thank you. Thank you, Kings, for coming through African Scripted Podcast. You heard it from the main man himself. Hopefully I can come see you uh, play a game within the next year, yeah. hopefully in the Champions League. I'll be waiting for my invitation. Could, yeah, you, could you get me a ticket? I will send a ticket. Oh, fantastic. Against your team, United. <laughs> I like it. I don't, so, I'll be, I'll, it will be comfortable of interest. I'll want you to score, but I'll want the team to win. So I don't know how it will be, but yeah, Africa Scripted Podcast. Uh, Kings came through. Thank you so much for your time. Um, by the way, it wasn't easy getting him here, but... Um, he was so open, he just said, let's do it. Um, I'll give you the time. I've got so much that I'm doing, but, but let's do it. So I appreciate you coming through. No, you're welcome, bro. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Safe.